always serving a fresh cup of daily inspiration, Deanna Hobbs. Today's inspiration is to let you know that God's power destroys the yoke. It does not matter what kind of bondage it is that you have come up against. And no matter how discouraging it looks and how bleak the outlook, God has the power to turn things around and to destroy every bondage, to bring down every stronghold. And he is going to do that for you. So cast your cares upon the Lord and be blessed by today's podcast. Welcome to your Thursday, May 3rd, 2018 edition of your Daily Cup of Inspiration podcast. My name is Deanna Hobbs, founder of Empowering Everyday Women Ministries, a 501c3 nonprofit organization that distributes free resources all around the world to help you grow in your faith and become everything God has destined you to be. I bring you greetings live from Empowering Everyday Women Ministry Studios in the city of Buffalo, New York. It is currently 61 degrees in the Queen city. Yes, it's finally warming up. It has been a beautiful week and unfortunately I wasn't feeling well so I haven't been able to be out in the sun. That's where I've been. That's why I've been missing in action after I came home from North Carolina last weekend after ministering at a prayer conference. I thought I was just hoarse but turned out that I was coming down with something. So many people I know had been fighting the flu and I was praying, Lord please don't allow it to get me. Unfortunately, I was was out for the count but I am back. I'm feeling strong. And even after I started physically feeling a little better, my throat was just in a bad way. So had to give my voice a chance and an opportunity to come on back around and recover. But here I am feeling strong. I love you. I missed you. Every single podcast you hear, it's available as a free resource to you. The Daily Cut family is worldwide. Folks from everywhere are streaming and downloading the podcast on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher.com, your daily cup of inspiration.com, player.com. FM on my YouTube channel under Deanna Hobbs, D-I-A-N-N-A-H-O-B-B-S. When you click that red subscribe button and turn on your notifications every single time a podcast is uploaded, you will be among the first to know. We're going to get into today's word, shall we? But first, let's begin with a prayer. God, our Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for how you have brought us together for such a time as this. You have a word to release to this individual today. So I thank you for the word in advance and how it will minister to every need. In Jesus name, we give you glory. Amen. Your daily cup of inspiration returns right after this brief message. Are you ready for a one of a kind encounter where a move of God will take place? Then get ready for Activate 2018 Regional Prayer and Worship Conference, Saturday and Sunday, June 23rd through the 24th of 2018. Hosted by award-winning ministry leader, Lady Deanna Hobbs. It's free for all. Activate 2018 is about mobilizing intercessors and activating God's power in the lives of worshipers, prayer warriors, and those in need of a life-transforming Holy Spirit-filled encounter. Don't miss out. General admission and workshops are absolutely free with special guest Miranda Curtis, Dr. Sean Saunders, Cassandra Elliott, Prophetess Alicia Tucker, Serena Young, Malcolm F. Wilson and Joshua's Generation, the Activate Worship Team, and many other guest speakers and presenters. To register for free workshops and to partner with the conference as a vendor or sponsor, visit our official conference website at activateintercessors.com. See you Saturday and Sunday, June 23rd to the 24th, 2018, for a life-shifting encounter with God you can't afford to miss out on. The Hobbs children often laugh about my husband, Kenya, because sometimes the things that he thinks are fun are not fun for them. And it made me think about this memory. I found out that he had gotten this thousand piece puzzle he had his heart set on and he thought it would be great for Christmas Day fun. And I told him, honey, there are too many pieces in that puzzle. And the kids were small at the time. This is going to frustrate them. They're too young to stay focused on one thing for that amount of time. And it requires a lot of time to put that together. And so they liked puzzles. And he thought, you know what? They'll like this one too. He was convinced he was on the right road. And I said, finally, okay, if that's what you want to do, go ahead. So when the children first saw the puzzle, they were beside themselves with joy, right? Everybody was grinning, eager to take on this new challenge. They dumped out all the puzzle pieces, hovered over them and went to work. After a few hours passed of unsuccessfully putting these pieces of the puzzle, 
puzzle together, those smiles gradually turned upside down. And before you knew it, they were over it. They started sobbing. No, I'm not talking about whining. Mom, dad, can we stop? They broke down. They had a full-on meltdown sobbing. We don't want to do this puzzle anymore. Kyla, our oldest, was the one who finally broke the silence for the family. Kenya later found out that the kids really didn't want to do the puzzle, but they didn't want to disappoint him or seem ungrateful. And that's why they had sat there for so long and feigned enjoyment. So they were faking and laboring for hours, combing over these oddly shaped pieces, spreading them out on the floor, trying to figure out how they'll all fit together but it got to be too much they wanted to play with their other toys and be free from what felt like homework the puzzle was too puzzling sometimes life feels like a difficult puzzle doesn't it the puzzle pieces don't seem to be coming together in your marriage in your children in your work life in your business in other situations in your body and like the picture on the puzzle box you see in theory what the end result should be but from your vantage point It looks like you'll never get everything in its proper place. So what do you do when life feels like a yoke of bondage around your neck and everything that you thought would work out isn't really working or you have some things that worked out and other things that have fallen apart? What do you do? First, here's a bit of good news for you. God doesn't expect you to put the puzzle together yourself. That's number one. He's not asking you to be responsible for destroying yokes in your life or making things work perfectly. That's his job. He is fully aware that you are limited in your ability and understanding. Your wisdom and strength are not enough to get things in order. That's financially. That's in your relationships. That's even in your spiritual walk with him. That's why there's grace. That's why we needed Jesus's work on the cross, we can't do it. In fact, God has been waiting for you to come to him like Kyla came to Kenya, cry out and say, I can't do this on my own, God. I can't put the puzzle pieces together. My family is falling apart. My health is falling apart. My finances are falling apart. My children are falling apart. I need your help. That's exactly what he wants you to do. Because God is the one who helps. God is the one who puts the pieces together. God is the one who destroys yokes. See how that works? This obstacle is too great. This challenge is too much for you, but not for God. His wisdom never runs out. His strength is inexhaustible. In Jeremiah seventeen fourteen, in the Message Bible translation, the prophet says, God, pick up the pieces. Put me back together again. I want you to let that be your prayer today. This request from Jeremiah is found in a chapter chapter where the people of Judah were in a sinful state. He was declaring the word of God. Jeremiah had been telling people to turn back to the Lord, but nobody was even listening to his message. And making matters worse, Jeremiah had enemies that were after him. His life was in danger and disarray. He was trying to do the right thing by relaying the divine insight God had given him to others. But that yoke was not being destroyed. It seemed like everything was blowing up in his face. Have you ever been there where nothing was working? People weren't changing. His plight was getting worse. Those strongholds just seemed like they would not let go. And those who hated Jeremiah were mocking both him and the God he said he represented. He told the Lord that his opponents and detractors said this. So where's this word of God? We'd like to see something happen. He was a laughing stock and an out cast. People were challenging Jeremiah and suggesting his prophecies were made up lies, no more than silly fairy tales. And this felt awful. And it was a very difficult season for God's servant. He needed the Lord to put the pieces of his life together. He needed God to destroy the yoke. He needed the Lord to protect him and make him victorious over the enemy. And today you might find yourself facing tough times like Jeremiah did. But know this, God brought Jeremiah through and the word of the Lord came to pass. You have been striving to, to be obedient and fulfill God's will for your life. You've tried everything you know and done all you can to get things right and things seem to be going haywire. Your life is in disrepair and disarray. You don't know which way to go and who to turn to. At this moment, God is saying, turn to me. I want to destroy the yoke. I want to put the pieces together again. This is too complicated for you. This goes above your ability. I'm giving you an invitation, God is saying, to put down those scattered pieces and let me put things together. 
I'm giving you an offer to stop trying to break down the situation and figure it out and let me destroy the yoke. Let me get rid of that stronghold. He's saying, release your need to figure it out and give it to me. God can see what you can't see. He can do what you can't do. He can fix what you can't fix. He can mend what you can't mend. He can transform what you cannot change. And he can destroy the yoke that has a hold of you, your family, your finances, your health, your ministry, your mind. Let him do it. If you surrender in your heart right now, you can be assured with no doubt that God is putting the pieces together for you. And as long as you step aside and let God have his way, you will see a 180 degree change for the better. God will reveal Romans 8 and 28 in your life, which is a familiar scripture, but I felt led today to stir it into your cup of inspiration. And it says, and we know all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. If you love God and are called of him, and I know you do, and I know you are, everything has to work together for your good. This stronghold cannot remain. God is going to destroy that yoke. He's going to put your life together. Trust him. As you drink down the contents of your cup, declare by faith, God is putting the pieces together in my life. God is causing things to work for my good. God is destroying that yoke of bondage. God is fixing it. I know what you see may not reflect that declaration, but the more you let go and let God have his way, the more you'll see things fall in place. He knows you're overwhelmed and can't take another step without him. That's why through this message, he's telling you to let him take the lead. Only he can destroy yokes. You rest. You don't have to do it. He's going to do it. You don't have to put that hard puzzle together. He already has the answer. And one thing we all know for sure is that when God does something, he does it well. Now let's pray. God, I pray for this, my sister, this, my brother. They have been striving and doing their best to put things together in their life, to fix circumstances, but it's too hard for them. They feel overwhelmed and in over their head. So today, God, I thank you that as they give up control and hand the pieces over to you, that you are going to destroy every yoke, loose every shackle and put everything in place. As they surrender everything to you, I thank you that you are causing all things, not some, but all things to work together for their good. And you're doing it right now. Thank you that the shackle is loose and that a supernatural release is on its way to their house. In Jesus name, we glorify you now. Amen. Your Daily Cup of Inspiration podcast has been brought to you by Empowering Everyday Women Ministries, where we help fuel your faith every day. For more information, log on to www.deannahobbs.com. Are you ready for a -a one-of-a-kind encounter where a move of God will take place? Then get ready for Activate 2018 Regional Prayer and Worship Conference, Saturday and Sunday, June 23rd through the 24th of 2018. Hosted by award-winning ministry leader, Lady Deanna Hobbs. It's free for all. Activate 2018 is about mobilizing intercessors and activating God's power in the lives of worshipers, prayer warriors, and those in need of a life-transforming Holy Spirit-filled encounter. Don't miss out. General admission and workshops are absolutely free with special guest Miranda Curtis, Dr. Sean Saunders, Cassandra Elliott, Prophetess Alicia Tucker, Serena Young, Malcolm F. Wilson and Joshua's Generation, the Activate Worship Team, and many other guest speakers and presenters. To register for free workshops and to partner with the conference as a vendor or sponsor, visit our official conference website at activateintercessors.com. See you Saturday and Sunday, June 23rd to the 24th, 2018, for a life-shifting encounter with God you can't afford to miss out on.